It's hard to tell that anything happened at the Weed Greyhound bus station, but it was a different story Thursday night. Police officer came in and said that this is now considered a crime scene. Greyhound station manager Chrissy Freeze was on her way to work when she got a call from a friend after they saw crews responding to a fire at the bus station, remnants of which are still on the front steps. I figured something had to have happened with the way they had my street completely blocked off. Rather than 20 minutes prior, it wasn't completely blocked off. They were just flagging people around. Upon arrival, an officer from the Weed Police Department asked the suspect to put the fire out. It was about the size of a small campfire, but he refused and things quickly escalated. He was able to overcome having been tased and, and attack the officer physically. He was able to get uh, control of the officer's car for a very short period of time. The officer was able to get it back and, and make sure that that, uh, that didn't leave the scene. And while the officer was doing that is, is when this person was able to uh, essentially get away. The suspect fled into some nearby woods. Crime scene tape still surrounds the area where he was hidden for about two hours. And it was around this location, about a block and a half away from the Greyhound station, just underneath the I-5 overpass, the authorities were able to catch up with the suspect. They sent in a canine unit to try to subdue him, but after his violence escalated, they shot him. The suspect was pronounced dead on scene. The shots fired closed down the immediate area until Friday afternoon. Authorities won't release the name of the suspect, but can confirm he's not from Siskiyou County. We haven't notified next of kin yet, so we're not going to be announcing an identity, but you know, feeling fairly confident that we do know this person's identity. Uh, he's not a local resident. In Weed, Kyle Averman, NBC5 News.